Okay, Courtney Stouffer. I have a young female, uh, early 20s, very early 20s. Um, very vibrant, very full of life, very strong and determined, this young lady. Um, very, very vocal. If there's something she didn't like, you would know about it. If there's something you liked, I just saw all this exuberance from her. Um, I think she could be verbally sparring. She can argue with people. A little bit of stubbornness there. I don't understand exactly what this is with mood swings. It's not bipolar. It's just like someone that feels so passionately about things that they could kind of take it a little step too far. I don't get particularly a large amount of aggression with this girl, but she's certainly not going to back down from anybody at all. And loyalty feels very important to her. Close to family, uh, loyal with friends. She's just kind of starting out in her own life and wondering what that's going to look like. Um, I don't feel a lot of, I mean, I do feel dry, but I'm not getting what this specifically is for. I really am just getting the words loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. She, she will fight for you. She'll also fight for herself, but I think she'll fight for others. Uh, I think her mouth sometimes could get her in trouble. It's almost like I don't know when to stop pushing it. Just keep going and going and going. Okay, I'm going to the 24 hours before she's disappeared. Okay, I feel angry, frustrated, excited, all of these weird emotions to have in one time. There's almost like a sense of, oh, how dare they, or I can't believe this. Indignation, that's the word that I'm looking for. I'm indignant, and with her, that's coming out in a very vocal way. Uh, I feel like a group of people... Perhaps these are friends that kind of all know each other, have the same background, same interest. Um, I wonder if she smoked. I don't know, because I'm just getting that pacing energy, that kind of smoke. I, I don't know. I don't know if she smoked or not. Um, maybe Phyllis had some alcohol. Maybe there was marijuana. Again, all of this feels completely normal. I'm not getting particularly addiction with this. Okay, I'm now about four or five o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I feel there's groups of people around her. I, I don't feel her being alone. I think for her being by herself would be challenging. I don't feel a lot of, she feels more of an extrovert. Like I would want or need people around me. It's so weird. It's almost it feels like gang mentality. You know, when people get together and they're all angry about the same thing. So I'm feeling just some anger from her and I don't know what that's about it doesn't really feel personal so again I'm going with a loyalty thing Who am, why am I so angry why am I so frustrated that I'm not able to pinpoint but again it's coming out in a very vocal way from her so people are you know if, if I was near her and I had made her angry there would be these comments about me but the comments would not only be directed at me it would be direct look at be you were you know that i it just there's that her mouth is going to get her in trouble with some things and i'm pretty sure people have said that to her most of her life with your mouth um not putting any blame on the victim because that is just never an accurate or correct thing to do okay so now i'm going to eight nine it's dark i do feel people around me again I, maybe there's some alcohol involved in this I just feel that kind of substance a, a fuel behind me. Um, there's yelling, there's some arguing, but I don't feel any physicality with this. There's some, a couple of people around her. These, I would say, friends that I feel like I'm comfortable with these people. I know these people. Um, maybe they're going to a party or something. I don't know. I just feel everybody's kind of getting ready to go somewhere. I'm having a hard time with the time now because then I'm jumping ahead to like 11, 11.35, something like that. I just, oh, I kind of feel aggressive. Like I just want to fight. I just want to fight. I want to be heard. That's what it is. There's a male around her. This feels partner. Kind of, she is less vocal, but still vocal. 
almost like, I can't get in trouble. You get, like, yeah, I don't even think it said you get in trouble, but it's like, I can't get in trouble. I just feel all of this arguing, but not with the partner boyfriend so much. It's, it's arguing with him, but not with him. It's arguing for him. That makes no sense. I'm arguing for him. Um, but I do think the boyfriend feels scrappy, feels like he could take care of himself. I do feel drugs. Drugs, drugs. I'm not talking about pounds of cocaine. Um, I don't know if it's marijuana. I don't know. I just I feel drugs, something, but less so with Courtney, more so with the people around her, which is weird. Okay. Then I'm with a group of people that kind of feel like they've been peripherally around me throughout the day. There's fighting. Literally, I, I wouldn't be surprised if people are in each other's face at this point. And then I'm like, somebody's coming. All right, just leave it alone. Let's go. Let's go. Um, just stop. Nobody's listening. And I hear like these threats. I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to do blah, 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 blah. Yeah, feel like it's, there's, this is some fighting. And I'm with this smaller group of people. So maybe there's two to three other people around her. I'm away from that large group that's just verbally sparring with each other. Like I've, maybe people had to hold each other back. So I don't know what that is about. Um, then I'm with these group, small group of people again. I definitely see two, but perhaps there are three. So that would make four of them, myself being Courtney. Um, going somewhere and again i'm angry i'm just angry I, I, to me it feels like there's alcohol behind this like it's that kind of fueled by that um yeah she feels slightly intoxicated to me at this point you know we're arguing i'm somewhere else um like how dare they do this i think people are trying to calm her down at this point that doesn't feel very successful kind of leaving that location and I'm angry about having to leave that location so maybe they were out somewhere I'm in a vehicle um I do feel there's just one or she's just simply showing me one person with her that feels male although I think there might be somebody else in the vehicle so maybe there's three of them but I definitely know there is Courtney and then a male was one of these top at gas station with cigarettes or so. I don't know. I just don't know what this is. I feel like there was a stop May at this point. So I'm away from my home. Um, getting home. Again, I feel rather intoxicated. Me being Courtney and all of this. It does feel quiet in this area where I feel very comfortable. So maybe I'm now back at home. Um, as if I'm going up the steps, I don't know, maybe she looked upstairs because I'm outside still. Like, I'm making these comments again, and I feel somebody that I was antagonizing or was antagonizing me is now involved. Um, this is where I feel conflict, this is where I feel impact because she feels inebriated at this point. This other person who is engaging with her male um i don't see other people around at this point so it almost kind of feels like it's just the two of them she's like dropping her keys or can't find her key I, I don't know like i'm inside but then i'm outside again like i'm starting a fight or continuing a fight and then i'm inside and outside then i see the male around her again i do i, I mean the rage in the male just feels out of control there's out of control like, I, I'm so angry, I'm seeing red. Um, I don't feel a lot of premeditation around this. Okay. All right. I'm now the male who is, you know, this fight with her argument. It doesn't feel physical at this point, but I, all of a sudden I'm lunging and I'm hit. Like, I'm now Courtney and, like, boom, impact on the head, neck, it's like the jaw area, ear down in my neck it's almost like I was hit with something could be a fist but like it's hard and I'm stunned like I'm seeing stars knocking on my butt that type of thing like what just happened so I do feel that impact I'm not seeing other people around you know this feels outside 
And I don't know why other people wouldn't have heard this. Or maybe they've been hearing it. Maybe they're just like, oh, I'm tuning this out. I don't want to hear it. So it feels like a continuation of something. But then I feel impact and literally on my butt. And I'm like, I'm seeing stars and me being Courtney at this point. Um, I don't think that the male stops, though. It's like that rage. Like, I just can't take any more of this. I don't know what they're arguing about. This is so unusual. Because if, if I'm going to be in that type of argument, it's going to be about something so personal to me. It's going to be about me. This, I don't feel, is about her that I'm arguing. It's like, I'm. how could you do this to this? How like It's like that. And again, that speaks to her loyalty or stubbornness, like her, her just, but I feel fear with her along with that. Like, I'm going to lose everything. How could you do that? So it is some personalization, but it also feels like I'm defending somebody else. And let me just be clear. This person she's defending, if it's not her, is not in the right. Like, I, it's not indefensible, but it's pretty close. Like, you know. I, I get her passion at this, but it doesn't feel, it feels too much. Um, and again, youth, youth, youth. If someone doesn't have a lot of life skills, then they might act out a little bit more. So now I'm going to go to the offender. She, Courtney still feels alive in this, but I'm still just wanting to hit her. I'm just wanting to hit her. Um, I think she's like literally almost pummeled and, but I'm very close to my door. Like I'm close to my front door when this is happening. There's a parking lot. Uh, now I can't talk. Me being court, it's almost like I've got the wind knocked out of me. I can't talk. I can't hear anything. I just feel very stunned, but I'm still being hit. I do not feel those hits. There has to be some blood. There has to be something there. All right. Again, I am now the male. I'm just seeing red. I'm feeling rage. My breathing is like this. Like, ah, it's that. Like, I've completely lost my temper. I've completely lost my cool. Um, like, every sense is very sharp in this moment. I'm still yelling at her. I'm still kind of in her face. Why is no one hearing this? I don't know. Uh, that That is very confusing to me. Then I'll kind of step back. I'm trying to catch my breath a little bit. Um, get up, get up, bitch. Like, it's like that. Um, now I'm kind of looking and going, what, did, what is going on? Like, it's almost like I have some clarity as an offender in this moment. And... I'm not quite panicked. Like I'm still feeling my hands or my fist or clutch. I've still got that kind, but I'm like, like noticing, oh my God. Um, all right. So I'm kind of pacing a little bit. This has got to be outside, which is so weird to me because I wear other people. Why is no one paying attention to this? This is not a quiet argument. These, this is not hushed whispers. Like this was some loudness. Um, I think there are people that overheard this. I really do. What about I'm gonna call the cops or something? Like, Shut up! But they've been hearing it for so long. It's almost like those neighbors that you have that are just noxious, and it people are just tired of it. So you could tune it out at some point. Going back to the offender. Okay, again, I'm at the offender. I think this person at least lived close, like within very short walking distance. So maybe I can be back in my house. This has to be an apartment. I'm just going to say that. I don't feel single family dwellings in any of this because just sort of, I think people overhear this and they're just too close. Not that she's quiet or that the arguing would be quiet, but it just, everybody feels almost on top of each other. And maybe that's why I can tune it out. Like, I don't know. That's true. I do think police have been called. I, I do. Um, maybe there's just the threat of doing that, but it almost feels like, and listen to the cops. I'm like, oh my God, again, we have to deal with this. But there has to be police contact at this location. Like it's, I mean, literally you just feel the police going, oh God, again. Okay. So now the mail, I'm going back into my apartment. I'm kind of, not pacing, but I'm like rage. I'm still rage filled. 
but notice knowing that I've done something I shouldn't have done. Like I've overreacted in that. I don't know to overreact. Like if somebody's in my face, that's what it feels like. Like I've just shut up, just shut up with that. How could you do that? So this really feels passion related. I'm not getting romantic, but just passion. Like I'm just getting that heat of the moment type thing. But this feels like it's been going on for a while. The male is making a phone call to someone. Like, I'm going to need your help with this. Like, and I don't even think he's making any sense to whoever he's talking to or it's ever he's sharing this information with. I don't feel like he's making any sense. I do see another male. So perhaps he called a male in all of this. Um, I'm going to need your help. She's still alive. She's still very much alive. Um, I don't feel awareness. I don't feel that she's able to speak. I see a lot of head trauma with this. Just thinking like there's got to be a little bit of blood splatter somewhere. Um, this man, like I'm shaking my fist and shaking my hand, like trying to just shake off pain out of my, I think he hit her. Like I just, I hit her with a fist because I'm not prepared for this, but I just, I, I hit her. Um, he doesn't feel particularly big or super powerful, kind of just this wiry sense, but there's strength behind all that. And it also feels rage. Um, I'm in my house, going back out, kind of, this is so fast. This, this doesn't even feel moments. Um, I'm not moving her, but the man that I called feels kind of more devious, feels more criminal element and all of that like this person will know how to help me get handle this problem um and i feel like maybe the person remember we're going to just talk to her we're going to do something that's the offender saying that but the other male on which i like feels like a super bad guy the mm, that's not how this is going to be and even if he's thinking that to himself it's like oh no we're going to get rid of her that's a self-thought um how is he there so quickly? Because it's quiet. Now it's just quiet. I don't hear anything. You know what? Literally, I wonder if police drove by and just kind of didn't see anybody out there, didn't hear anything, so I'm not stopping. Like, I'm not stopping this time. I just, that I'm not too certain about, but I do, law enforcement had to come to this location quickly. Like, I mean, I feel like they've been there. They're, they know these people involved. And it's almost like I don't see anything as I'm driving by because I'm a little spot. Like, why are you not seeing her? I don't know. That part's very confusing. There's no negligence on this part, but it's almost like, okay, it's all died down. So we're just going to let it go. Um, seeing another male showing up. I, I'm sorry I'm not getting like a time on this, but doesn't feel like a long period of time so maybe it's 12 minutes I, I don't know why are all these people awake and ready to do this in the middle of the night because now it literally feels like the middle of the night um i'm asleep at these times these people are not so there's drugs involved in this there's got to be drugs there's a real criminal element with these people especially especially the gentleman that was called or notified this is a real criminal element here um, drugs, violence, things like that. Okay. This person's getting out of their vehicle. I mean, this is so specific, but I'm not 